COVID-19 has given us all a bit of an opportunity to uh, self-isolate and um, just wait till this whole saga blows over, but that's given us time to do stuff in the shed. And part of that time, I'm gonna spend rebuilding this bike, 1981 YZ465. Now the reason this bike needs rebuilding is simple. It's because I seized it. And the reason I seized it was, I listened to a bloke that told me that modern oils, two-stroke oils are so good today that you only need to run them at 30 to one. Now Yamaha's recommendations for this bike when it came out was 15 to one at or up to a maximum of 20 to one. Now I reckon Yamaha knew what they were talking about. In fact, I'm positive they knew what they were talking about and I'll explain why at the end of the video. But first of all, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fix it. So here's the proof that you can't run these old bangers at 30 to one or anything like a modern two stroke um, fuel ratio. You'll see those big ugly gouge marks on that, on that piston is actually where the aluminium has melted and stuck to the inside of your cylinder. So in order to get this bike going again, you need a new piston and you also need to do something about your cylinder. Now, there's a couple of things you can do. You could rebore the cylinder and go an oversized piston, no problems there, but with these older bikes, it's getting harder and harder to get oversized pistons. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this cylinder work with the same size piston. And in order to do that, I'm gonna use caustic soda. You need to get yourself some of that. It's pretty potent stuff, uh, so be careful with it. But you mix about, oh, probably a teaspoon in about 100 mils of water maybe, and stir it, in the, stir it up in a dish that is going to be thrown out later because it is very toxic stuff. And what we're going to do, we know that the, the caustic soda creates a chemical reaction that dissolves aluminium. And we can use that to our advantage. And I'm going to demonstrate how it works and how, what you, how you do it. When you look at your piston first, you'll see all those line marks. If you look down, if you look down your barrel, you'll see that there'll be corresponding raised lines in the barrel, right? That's what you've got to get rid of because that's the aluminium that's stuck now stuck inside your cylinder. So. How we do that is, we start by with the wet mix of the hydrochloric acid, and I'm just gonna use this bit of pipe as an example. And we paint it on to where we know that the aluminium is. And once you've got it wet, get some dry caustic soda on the edge of your brush and dab that on. And that'll start a chemical reaction that's going to deal with the going to deal with the aluminium that's stuck in your cylinder. So it's a, it is very hard to see, but in actual fact, it starts to boil almost immediately. And you might have to repeat this process four or five times, and just keep an eye on it. But it will move that aluminium. And once you've removed the aluminium from your bore. You can give it a light hone and you'll end up with this. A nice clean cylinder to put your new piston and rings into. And that'll make the old girl live again. Now let's get back to why Yamaha was right about 15 to 1. What I didn't know and what this blow up taught me is that the ratio of oil to your fuel has more to do with the bore and the stroke of your motor than it does with the quality of the oil. So in these older bikes, they had a much bigger bottom end in them. So the bearings in them are much bigger. They also had a longer stroke. So the piston just kept going up and down much at a much greater rate of travel than a modern two stroke. Also, they had the massive 
piston sitting in them. So in order to lubricate this engine, the amount of oil required in the engine is proportionate to the amount of work it's got to, have, got to do. So when Yamaha said 15 to 1, they didn't just pluck that number out of the sky. They've done a, some calculations and they've come up with the right answer. So now that this is all done and I've got that barrel all honed, ready to go back together, this little bike will be back on the road where it belongs by the, well, by tomorrow.